Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In today's video, I am going to discuss about ISD1820 module. It is a recording and playback module. In the same module, it has the built-in recording function and playback function and it can be reused over and over. So we can record something and then again we can re-record something. When we re-record something, the previous recording gets erased and the new recording gets loaded or gets saved into the IC ISD1820. This module has a built-in condenser microphone in it. So we do not need an external microphone to record sound into it. And this module also comes with a speaker. This comes in the package. So we can use this speaker to play the recorded audio. Although the speaker is very small and the sound played through it is very low, but for miniature projects like a musical greetings card like that, this speaker performs well. In a future video, I will show how to connect a larger speaker with it or how we can connect an amplifier with it to increase the volume. For now, we are using the speaker that is provided with the module and I purchased the module from AliExpress for maybe around one and a half dollar. I purchased it a long ago because right now AliExpress is not applying to India. You can buy it from Amazon or from eBay or any local or any online store. It costs less than $2, maybe around $1.5 price. Though the price is very less, this port is very useful. You can use it in any musical project like a musical greetings card, like when you need to use audio with a microcontroller, like uh, you are making an intrusion detection project, so you can use in that project also. So I will discuss all the functionalities in detail of the module. This module works in 3 to 5 volt DC power supply. Let me bring it closer to the camera. Here you can see at the right side, some header pins are there with connection mentioned. The first pin is VCC pin, the second pin is ground pin, the third pin is FT pin which is feed through. I will show what that is. The fourth pin is PL pin, fifth pin is PE pin and the sixth pin is recording pin. And the other side of the header, I don't know whether you can see it clear in the camera. There are also six header pins and in four pins, two jumpers are connected. Initially, these jumpers are not required. So I am removing it from the module. I will show you what these jumpers will be used for later. So initially, I am removing the jumper. So you can see all together 12 header pins are there. Six are for connectivity and here top two pins are mentioned as FT and the bottom two pins at this side are mentioned as PE. I will show that what it does later. So before moving to further detail, let me connect the speaker to this module. Just simple push in connect, a ReliMet connector is there. And now I will give the power supply. So I'm giving a 5 volt DC power supply positive to the VCC pin and negative to the ground pin. So the power supply is given. Now I will record something on this module. To record something in the module, we need to press the record button and hold it until your audio message is complete. It can record maximum up to 10 seconds. This recording time can be changed by changing this resistor at the corner. This resistor, initially it is a 100k resistor. We can increase it to 150k to change the time to 15 seconds and we can change the resistance to 200k to change the time to 200 seconds. This resistance, it is connected with the pin number 10 of the IC. So right now we are not doing that. We are walking what is default on the board that is a 10 seconds. Let me first record an audio. Hello, hello, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you see, as long as I pressed the record button, a red LED was glowing here that indicates the recording is on. Now when I release the recording button, this LED turned off and the recording completed. Now I will show the play functions, how to play the recorded audio. In this play button, here is written play E and in the next button, it is written play L. Play E means play edge triggered. So when we press this button, the audio starts playing and when the edge of the audio, that means the audio ends, is detected, it stops. So it is play edge triggered. 
the entire audio is played one time when we press this button once and in this button it is play L. It means play level triggered. That means as long as we press and hold this button the audio will be playing and as soon as we release the button the audio will stop. I will show you. See I am pressing this button one time. Hello, hello, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you see I pressed this button and the audio played for one time. I am showing it one more time. Hello, hello, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if I press this button, I need to press and hold the button. Hello, hello, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See, as long as I press the button, the audio was playing. Hello, hello, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And as soon as I release the button, the audio stops. So these two are the playback button, but plays in a different mode. And now if we want to re-record something, we have to press the record button again and the previous audio will be erased and new audio will be recorded. Let me show you. I am pressing the record button and recording a new audio. The LED will be glowing. Now if the audio time is over, that means 10 seconds is over, this LED will stop and the recording will automatically stop. So let me start a new recording. Hello friends, this is a new audio test recording into the ISD1820 module. This module has the capacity of recording and playback in itself. You see the red LED turned off and the recording automatically stopped at that moment. Now if I press the play E button. Hello friends, this is a new audio test recording into the ISD1820 module. This module has the capacity of recording and play. The sound through this speaker is very low, but we can increase it by connecting a larger speaker or an amplifier. So you see, this module can be used to record and re-record the audio as many times as we want and we can play it in two different modes. One is play one time and another is play as long as we hold the button. Now I will explain the function of these pins. These four pins are used to trigger the play and record functions using a microcontroller. Whenever we trigger high to these pins, it will work the written functions accordingly. First one is FT that means feed through. I will come to that later. Second one is PL we have seen PL then PE we have seen play E and then last one is the record. In my next video, I will show how to connect and control it with a microcontroller. In today's video, I am not going to that and the header pins at this side are also used for a specific purpose. As I was saying, these two jumpers are used to perform a specific task. Like if we connect the PE pins with these Hello jumpers, this is it will keep playing the audio repeatedly. The ISD1820 module. This module has the capacity of recording and play. Hello friends, this is a new audio test recording into the ISD1820 module. This module has the capacity of recording and play. Hello friends, this is a It will keep audio playing the recorded audio continuously if we short the, the PE pins with a jumper. Recording and play. Hello friends, this is a new audio test I am removing the jumper. The ISD1820 module. This module has the capacity of it will stop after play. finishing the audio. Now the FT function. FT means feed through. When we use the feed through function, the audio from this microphone goes directly to the speaker. It does not record into the IC. Let me short the FT pins with the jumper. Since the microphone and the speaker is very close. It is generating a humming noise. You can hear the humming noise. Now if I tap on the microphone, you can hear the tap on the speaker. So this is the feed through options. It's making a irritating noise. So I'm removing the jumper. So here I have discussed all the functionalities of this 1820 module. If you have any further 
question or if you need any further detail about the board you can ask me in the comments in my next few videos i will explain how to connect it with a microcontroller and how to change the speaker to a larger speaker or how to connect an amplifier with this to increase the sound and i'll also show how to change the microphone because this microphone is a condenser microphone and it records all the noise in the surrounding environment so i will show how to record a clear audio with this module this module can be used to make a musical greeting card a music doorbell or a mantra or chanting machine you can build i will show all that in my future videos and i'll also show how to do different projects using microcontroller like a intrusion detection project like how to build a talkback parrot so in my next few videos i will discuss with this isd 1820 module projects up to this in today's video if you like my video please hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe my channel rg innovations to get the updates of the future videos and if you find it useful please share it with your friends we will meet again in a new video till then bye bye take care have a nice time thank you